Good afternoon, traders. John Caruso coming to you here for the afternoon of April 30th with a brief uh, market recap for you for today's session. Uh, we are seeing some weakness in stocks right now, a little bit of price distribution. The S&P is down 0.5%. Uh, the Russell leading the way on the downside down one and a quarter percent. So uh, we can see a little more uh, weakness early uh, bleed into uh, next week, into the month of May. Um, but uh, we think ultimately that weakness is likely. You do see the buyers start to step in and the S&P may be down around 4140 to 4120. So keep that in mind uh, for next week. Uh, core PCE index came out up 1.8% versus 1.4%. That's the Fed's main inflation gauge. We're starting to see some inflation in the economy. That shouldn't come to any surprise to anybody. Uh, the energy markets, we did see uh, some price distribution there as well. Uh, crude oil down 2% for the session, uh, trading around the mid-63s. We think as long as crude holds 62, it's still in pretty good shape. Uh, we start uh, getting multi-day close below 62, uh, then we could certainly attack the high 50s again, so keep that in mind. My favorite energy on the long side right now continues to be natural gas. Natural gas was up 8.8% for the month. The chart looks great, positively configured, nice month uh, for the month of April. Uh, natural gas had the one thing that natural gas is lacking right now is a good fundamental story and we could be on the cusp of one right now on the back of the climate summit last week uh, we did see all your major economies pledge to cut their carbon emissions uh, basically in half over the course of the next five to ten years and natural gas could potentially be embraced as a bridge fuel between carbon and green uh, we know that natural gas is still very much a fossil fuel it does uh, emit emit uh, carbon into the uh, the environment, however, much less so than burning crude and burning coal. So natural gas, that could be uh, a little bit uh, of a, a story that starts to develop in coming months. Uh, we have uh, seen a story recently uh, that the EU has, has basically acknowledged that they cannot meet their emissions uh, cuts without uh, utilizing more natural gas. So keep that in mind. Uh, gold and silver, uh, not much to speak of there. We did see uh, gold and silver both finish the week uh, uh, the week out uh, with some weakness. Uh, we think gold, as long as it holds 1750, we think it could uh, make a run at 18 to 1820. Still negatively configured on the chart, still slanting down, still bearish trend uh, on a six month basis. So gold's not one of our favorites. We do, however, think that silver could make a run uh, 27 to 2750 on the upside, so long as silver can stay above 25, uh, 25 to 2530. Uh, in coming weeks, so keep that in mind. Silver looking much better than gold on the charts, um, so keep that in mind. Uh, even the U.S. dollar catching a little bit of a bid t uh, today, up 0.75% uh, uh, or 68 points on the session. We don't think the dollar is going to get very far on the upside. We think the dollar is in a massive bear market right now, so keep that in mind. Uh, if you are a dollar ball, bull, you should probably start to recheck that thesis going forward. Uh, any upside in the dollar likely is going to be met with some sellers. Uh, uh, here in the near term, perhaps 9140 to 9150. So uh, that's perhaps an idea for you next week. So keep that in mind. Uh, once again, I'm John Caruso. Uh, have a great weekend, and we'll see you back here next week. Take care.